the beginning. Got to show R&B, disco, reggae, shortboard influence, jazz, gospel, and slavery, and gospel. All in the South Bronx streets and say, hip hop, not have to create a beat. Now, Bill Abraham's coming with DJ Cool Hurt. Hurt will be Kurt, give Kurt a load of beats to break up. The little beats to rip up on his tongue. Kurt loads space to be brave. The earth of the hip hop generation. Be boys and be girls, born between 1965. In 
Now that's hip hop. That was my TV show. Hell, I'll straight make a homemade weapon out of one long sock. <laughs> then what you do? Stuff it like two, three pairs of socks? You see
He made it clear that I still wasn't free to ask him questions relevant to finding my ancestry. Oh, but don't think that stopped me from wanting to know, because after that, my mental really began to grow. But I came across something one day that made me stop what I was doing just to pray. See, it's this cat that went by the name of Lynch. He found a way to control us without using whips. What he suggested was a time bomb created to self-destruct. And when it's time to erupt, the major casualty will be the African mentality. Now, the last poets warned us to pay attention to our evolution, but they referred to it as revolution. When the revolution comes, comes when the revolution comes. But, let me slow down, because I'm starting to appear to be the rocking drums. <laughs> now, I hope you understand that slavery was the first empire of its kind. Here, I'll bring everybody up to our time. Just like slavery, we're making all these cats rich and none of our communities are seeing profits. But let me ask y'all a question and maybe this will help free us up from this oppression. Have you heard of Chocolate City? Better yet, take a journey down your local court street. Pay attention to where we shop and you'll consciously witness how fast the dollar leaves our block. We're being sold all these bogus products and unintentionally, we help it to construct another empire, because we slaves to fashion. But quick to see somebody whack and start bashing what they rocking, because they ain't copping that real shit. When the reality is, we're in a conflict of self, because we so subconscious. But let me bring it back and tell y'all why. Why sometimes you look in the mirror and you want to cry? Why do you lack self-love and indulge in self-hatred? See, we were made in the image of God, and we were almost so perfect that somebody got scared and convinced us that we were odd. Our African diasporas are a unique race. We evolve and live at our own pace. Never have we fed into the American society, not to mention the overwhelming amount of variety. We come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Hell, why do you think everybody wants to spend their lovers? People tan for weeks just to look like we. They get lip jobs, butt jobs, nose jobs, Hell, even blow jobs, and it sucks we still can't get jobs. <laughs> we got a president who's trying to build, build a wall, but I'm not about to get into that right now, y'all. <laughs> we were told that we were inferior in order for another race to feel superior. But if we are such an ugly race of people, why do so many people view us as lethal? And don't forget to pay attention to all the little traps that most of our brothers fall victim to because of the way they wear their baseball caps. Two tickets? We'll get your driving privileges seized, so don't bother asking for help with any of your needs. Everybody knows you can't feed a baby air, and it's not that easy to walk everywhere. So when you get in your car, and you drive to work, and the police pull you over and put your face in the dirt, the price to pay for driving without your L's is jail. Here's where you really get to hell, because you're forced into a hustle to get out of this sorry situation. We find ourselves locked in this nation where we all racing for a better tomorrow. A place to grow up like our parents did. A place where it's okay to be a kid. A place where you didn't have to hide from the massive destruction from the world outside. Where if anybody looked at you funny, you could let it ride. Cause if you ain't searching for this place, why hell, you must be committing suicide. Cause you sitting down waiting for the genocide.
kid is dead came through that phone. They cut me to the bone and put me in a zone that would last for months on me. Not my first love, not my man, not my very best friend. I was screaming and I was crying louder than ever before, but there was no physical screaming. The walls began to cave in on me and the room spun around because Kenneth, my divine reflection, had taken a journey without me on which I would not be able to fall. In the peaceful place where love had grown, we become hollow and filled with the sorrow and surprise. I was broken like glass and I was angry because God had given me an impossible task because Kenneth was a dream that I could speak to. I didn't know what to do, so I started writing like these two. My pen became my weapon, my paper. This jack fucked up society. I picked it up and shot out all the anger that had built up inside of me. Poetry became my alternative to crime. Poetry became my alternative to dying on me. Because I can see, if it had not been for the sunrise and the sunset of my kidney, 